morning YouTubers. Where am I today? Malham actually. Right over there is Malham Cove. That's supposed to be one of the world's uh, biggest waterfalls when we last had the, um, the last ice age. And where we're heading today is over there. That's God Elskar. Interesting place. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the walk, haven't been here for maybe three, four, five years, I don't know, time passes when you're retired. Gordeskar is the, uh, the biggest, uh, the most powerful, today I would expect it uh, not to be as powerful as I've seen it, it's uh, it's changing throughout the seasons depending on how much rain comes falling down. I've seen it uh, when it has rained dramatically. Well, know, several years ago we had a wet season and the waterfall just became almighty powerful. And then usually in the dry seasons um, it doesn't become much. Still interesting to see. So, Hoping this battery lasts out, that we get to see both waterfalls and maybe even challenge myself to climb the waterfall, uh, which I've done several times, but that was 30 years ago. Doubt if I could do it now. But the walk uh, would consist of parking the car on the roadside or in the car park and then doing a circular route and eventually climbing the waterfall and going over the tops. Will I? Won't I? I would say right now, I doubt it. Who knows? We'll see. So, the time of the uh, month is first week in January. When I uh, get this video out, I do not know, maybe later on in the year, I've got so much going on. So, hopefully, we'll get, uh, as I was saying, hopefully we'll get the walk over and uh, see what transpires. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to picture myself trying to get up the waterfall not as agile as I used to be but I haven't finished my uh, my challenges yet at, even at my age interesting walk you get to Malm there are several areas you can take on um, some ordinary hill challenges or hill climbing Others just meandering footpaths, like the one I'm doing right now. And, and eventually we'll come to the first waterfall, which is Janet's Foss. What I'm doing at the moment is uh, trying to see how far nature is regarding spring.
This is the old riverbank from the last ice age. How do I know that? Well, it's common sense really. If you look at the geology of the place, you'll find out that uh, from history the glaciers melted and created all the hills around here. And they created the gorge that I'm on my way to see. And above the gorge is Malum Town. That's a, a bit of a lake that's again the, re the remains of the last ice age. And further on is uh, Malum Cove, which was once reportedly, as I've already said, um, was uh, one of the world's biggest waterfalls during the last ice age. So they say. But as for now, I'm going to see a small waterfall again, which is Janet's Foss, and along with busloads of tourists, some of them I presume are from abroad, but the village is inundated with uh, tourists today, uh, who are all staying um, in and around the, uh, the village, and there are a lot of people passing through but that's why I come. It has the draw factor. It's a wonderful place. I like the geology and I like the history. It is uh, quite an old place. You find that if you go through the village that uh, a lot of the buildings are very old and I'm talking about going back before the years 1200. So where am I going now? It's through there. That's Janet's Foss, it's just beyond the trees and up near the crags in the background is Gardale Scar. I came here a few days ago and I'm back here again. Only I just wish it would be a little bit warmer today because it is so cold.
I see the old money tree still or stump is still here on the ground. I'll put a picture up of what it used to look like. But now it looks all worn out and sad or battered. But that's been there for a long long time. That's what nature does. Thank mm -hmm. you.